last episode of 50 Fit. And, um, you know, that doesn't mean my journey is coming to an end, though. It's just, you know, what I'm sharing with all of you. And I hope that people actually benefited from it. And when I decided to do this and share it, it was because for me personally, I was struggling with having put on weight, feeling, you know, lots of anxiety and depression from being perimenopausal, which is a big thing. And people are talking about that more. But initially I was like, yeah, this is great. And I said, to, you know, to my team, you know, maybe we should do this. And everybody's like, great. And then after I was like, are you crazy? <laughs> what are you doing? You know, I live in a small place and people have lots of opinions and, you know, you're going to really put yourself out there. And then I thought, you know, what? I've turned 50. Time to really dig into and lean into that. What I believe is people's perception of me is none of my business and who likes it will watch it and who does it will scroll on. And if I can help somebody, then perfect. Um, and I'm glad that I did it. I've learned a lot, you know, the exercise and being consistent, which I, we all know that, but I think having to do it and do it in this platform really made you have to be accountable, right? And, um, you know, the meal plan that Jason um, came up with, excellent. And just pushing myself and doing different forms of exercise. Actually, having worked with Surfside, you know, that was great because I wasn't just doing one thing, you know, there were so many options for me um, to do it, to do. And, you know, what else have I learned? I've learned about me and the fact that, you know, at this age, taking care of your health is not just a one-dimensional thing. You have to look holistically at everything, um, whether it's your eyesight, your skin, um, you know, whatever it is, you just need to stay on top of your health because, you know, you can still be energetic. You can still do things that people, you know, may think, okay, I'm this age and I shouldn't be because but that's a myth, you know, and I guess for me, having grown up around women who've always um, been very active, did not let anything stop them. Um, I just wanted to really pursue it this way by showing other people that they could too. And I'm really happy with the results from doing this in terms of the weight loss and stuff. I've lost about 20 pounds. Um, and I think um, they sent me my results and they, my body fat went from a 30.7 to a 24.7, which is pretty cool, I think. And I lost some inches and, you know, I mean, yes, losing weight is a great part of it, but the overall goal, my mental, my, you know, well-being and, you know, my just overall feeling better about myself. So, yeah, I'm, I'm excited and... Um, yeah, 50 fit. I definitely think that that's where I am and I want to continue on that vein and see where that leads. I think uh, the most important lesson um, as you get older, you know, life is about growth. And while 50 is a number, it's not the final number. It's not a defining number. Um, 20 is not, 30 is not, 40 is not. You know, life is about growth, it's about learning, and it's just different chapters, right? So just because you have reached a certain place doesn't mean there isn't more to go and there isn't more to do. And I think that um, you really have to try to enjoy life and make the best out of each chapter that there is and, um, and just, you know, hold on to that and not get caught up. And I think 50, this stage teaches you that. What other people think of you really doesn't matter. It's none of your business. Once you have your family and the people who love you and um, your friends, who, your real friends who care about you, those are the things that matter, you know? And once you're trying to be the best you possible, those are the things. They're always gonna be naysayers. Um, and you can't, you can't let that run your life or let that determine how you live. And I think for a lot of women, stepping into this age and stage, there is a whole new way of looking at life where you don't really care about those things. You realize what actually matters. And it's about, you know, taking care of yourself, your family, the people you love, and being authentic. And I think, you know, there's only one you, 
and you know you should live it and be it the best way you possibly can. So that's it for 50 Fit. I hope those of you who joined me on my journey would have learned something. Um, I hope that you enjoyed it and I'm really glad that I got a chance to share it with you. Thanks to the sponsors who came on board and thanks to you to everyone who was a part of my 50 Fit journey.